Most people in this world use Wi-Fi for surfing the internet. We use wireless networks in our homes, offices, shops and other places. We think that our network is secure and we don't notice much, but it is only a myth. Because anyone with the knowledge of networking and ethical hacking can break into your network. In this video we are going to discuss some latest Wi-Fi threats. I am going to tell you how bad hackers can hack your Wi-Fi network and how to secure them. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First of all, let us know what are the different strategies that a hacker uses to break in our Wi-Fi. First of all, we have deauthentication attack. In this attack, a hacker temporarily removes all the clients from your Wi-Fi by sending false packages. When a hacker starts this attack, you get disconnected from your network. Hackers do all this for capturing your Wi-Fi handshake. A handshake is a special packet that is shared between the Wi-Fi router and the device which is trying to connect. A hacker uses a special Wi-Fi adapter. For this, mostly these types of Wi-Fi adapters support monitor mode and packet injection. Through these types of adapters, we can capture different types of wireless packages of Wi-Fi network in our range without even connecting to them. A captured handshake could be very useful for a hacker because it contains password hashes. If your Wi-Fi password is very weak, like it contains only eight digits and the numbers or alphabet only, then a hacker could easily crack it. A hacker uses different word lists which contain millions of most common passwords and try them on your Wi-Fi handshake to guess passwords. Now, if your Wi-Fi password is weak, hackers can easily guess and if you use a strong password, like a combination of numbers, alphabet and special characters, then it will take a very long time for hackers to crack it. For example, a password of 12 digits in length containing special characters, alphabet and number, will take years for cracking. Now let's discuss how to prevent the deauthentication attack, and what precautionary measures we should take to save our Wi-Fi. First of all, choose a long and strong password. Second, Buy a Wi-Fi router with WPA3 encryption because deauthentication attacks only work on WPA and WPA2 router. So, shifting on a new Wi-Fi router is a better option. The next thing hackers can do to steal your Wi-Fi is an evil twin attack. In this attack, hackers first capture the handshake file by the simple deauthentication attack, then he creates a clone of your Wi-Fi network, which has the same name as your... After that, the hacker sends malicious packets to all the clients connected to the Wi-Fi network to force them to disconnect the network. Now the victims are unable to connect to the original Wi-Fi. Now they connect to the clone of that network, which is known as an evil twin. When someone connects to the evil twin, a malicious web page pops up and asks for Wi-Fi credentials. This malicious web page is known as a captive portal. When you enter your Wi-Fi credentials, they will reach the hacker. Most people fall prey to this type of attack. To defend the evil twin attack, buy deauthentication proof Wi-Fi routers and don't share your Wi-Fi credentials with anyone. Now let's discuss what a hacker can do if he successfully connects to our network. First threats we have from a hacker is that he can change our Wi-Fi password or name and can see all clients connected to our network by visiting the default settings page of our router. Next, he can compromise all the systems connected to our network, causing a serious problem. It is better to protect ourselves and our families from such bad people, and we should take precautionary measures to make our Wi-Fi network secure. Here is our video today. If you find the video useful, please have a subscribe and make sure to thumb up.